the information. You do with it what you want. They're putting cancer viruses in the vaccines and shooting you up. You got that? You got that everybody out there who's had a little kid die of cancer? They murdered her child. You got it? You got it? That's who runs things. We're not playing games with you. You got it? Grow up, people. Stop watching the Green Bay Packers play the Colts or whoever they were playing today. Tennessee Titans and the Colts or the Texans and the Colts. All this bull. I don't have time for it anymore. I'm right. You're wrong. Period. I do homework. I research. I know what's going on. And you people don't. And you better get up off your butts. Because this is life and death. Ziploc in New Hampshire. You're on the air. Thanks, Alex. Thanks for handling that last call the way you did, because I'm glad you didn't sit tight on that one. That was serious business right there, huh? Yeah. Goodness. I had a question for you. In 2009, what are... I'm a voter now. I just entered as a voter. I decided this year to block for rock. I went to the town hall in New Hampshire. I wanted to see what the heck was going on. And everybody's all about the rocks down there, except the pollsters. The people at the place were actually a, a little older, and they were actually a little wiser. And I'm going in there like, um, I have my birth certificate with me. Where do I sign up? They said, you don't need it. I said, I have a birth certificate. I was born right in this town. I want to vote for somebody born in this country. A whole lot of people looked at me like I was crazy, but it's dead serious. This guy, if he wasn't born in this country, how are we voting him in? And how did, every, how did the info slip from everybody for nobody to even ask who is this guy? That's what I'm wondering. Well, you see, there's wheels within wheels within wheels. I mean, it's great to criticize Barack Obama, but John Yo, Zip. McCain was bad as well. The way their paradigm works, if we only attack George Bush, then that empowers the leftist arm or wing of the New World Order. If we only attack Barack Obama... Then that empowers the phony, controlled right-wing arm. We have to show they're both puppet groups putting out different rhetoric but carrying out the same operation. And Barack Obama is meant to fool the public into buying, stalling the public not to revolt just long enough to literally bankrupt the nation and bankrupt the dollar to the foreign banks. We are, quote, bailing out the very banks that control our, our, our private Federal Reserve that engineered the collapse. You understand? So that's wow. why they didn't, quote, bail out mortgages, because it was never about the mortgages. It was about bankrupting the U.S. and capitalizing four U.S. banks, six foreign banks, to be able to go out and buy up and leverage the stock you market. Mean, you mean covertly, as if nobody would really know this as a voter, but behind the scenes, that's basically exactly what's boiling down as we're putting our... As, well, we aren't, but as everybody... Look, look, John McCain and Barack Obama, thank you for the call, are bought and paid for by the very same people. So they're just front men to deflect all the attention away from the real government. The president's ceremonial. The Congress is pretty much ceremonial. The Congress five weeks ago wouldn't pass the banker takeover bill. So they were threatened with martial law. I played the C-SPAN clips. They were told, we will arrest the Congress. Now, that was total tyranny. They should have all walked out with the press conference. The president should have been arrested. But that ain't how it works here. Northcom's in control out of Colorado Springs. The Congress knows that. Okay? And so uh, people can't even believe it. If you read the, the U.S. government documents, the British Ministry of Defense documents, do you know what would have happened if Congress would have walked out and said we were just threatened with martial law and we're not going along with it anymore? Do you know what they would have done? Uh, probably a neutron bomb would have been detonated in D.C. And, you, and, and the public would have been told that al cia did it. I mean, Al-Qaeda did it. I mean, the British Ministry of Defense, in their 10-year report they put out last year, saying what they believe will happen, they said governments may have to use neutron bombs to stop takeovers of our system. I mean, they're, they're prepared to kill the whole Congress. Don't you understand? This is far beyond, far beyond anything you can deal with, what I can deal with. I can't handle it anymore. Okay? They're sucking the country dry right now. They're international offshore banks. They want it to fall apart. They want to hurt the economy. They want to destroy confidence. They're the military-industrial complex. They're the new world order. They're offshore. They hate this country. They hate our founding fathers. You understand? All they're going to give you is a boot stomping on your face forever. We'll be right back with a second hour or more of your phone calls. Everybody stay with me. We're going to get right to you.
Yeah, that was Zip Off on Alex Jones, everybody. Boom. 